Uh, we thank God for just so much, um, so full. Can't say it all, but I just thank God for being here first for us. Okay. I thank God for being here today. I thank God for my food coach and shelter. I thank God for the church anniversary that we had. I thank God for the word that came through. And I thank God for him continue to bless me as I go to school and come through school and just as I travel along my way. I thank God for him keeping me um, as I was praying. I was just thinking about um, all the distractions in the world that we can we can get through um, through technology and just other things, friends. I thank God for him keeping me um, as I was praying. I was just I just thought about how I wanted to rush God when I was like praying. I wanted to get to something else before I got, but I thank God for conviction, me knowing that I need to set, a t set aside time just to be with God, just to talk to Him, because that's all I need to do is to start a relationship with God and then can grow. I thank God for me continuing to help me as I go through school to be a light to other people. I thank God for to continue to bless me and keep me as I get older and that I continue to get closer to him as I get older and that I grow a better relationship with him. I thank God for my cousins. I thank God for everybody that's in the house of the Lord right now and the ones that are not in the house of the Lord. I hope that he continues to bless all of us and any trials and tribulations that we will be going through because we have not know what other people are going through. But all we can do is pray and encourage one another. So I thank God for being here and continue to pray for me and my family. Amen. Scripture going to be coming from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verses 6 through 9. But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart. So let him give, not grudgingly, nor of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver, and God is able to make all grace abound towards you, that ye, always having all sufficiency in all things, may abound to every good work. As it is written, he hath dispersed abroad, he hath given to the poor, his righteousness remaineth forever. God is, no, God is a good God. Is he real? Oh, God is a good God. Is he
for the sons and the testimony when they glory of the Lord. Thank and praise God for the offering. Now we thank the main and serve us in the name of the Lord. Thank God for blessing us. Uh, for those that are here present tonight, and the Lord has blessed all of us to be here again in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we just give God honor. Just say thanks to everything, to everyone, and thank God for everything that took place and how everything worked out just right. Amen. 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 We're going to get started tonight. Fifth chapter of Galatians. Fifth chapter of Galatians. The Lord says, Amen. We thank God for the word, the thing that gives us the information about God. Amen. And what God would have us to know and to do. Is that all right? Amen. Amen. All right, fifth chapter of Galatians, we begin at verse 1. Stand, stand fast, therefore, in the liberty wherewith Christ hath made us free. All right, stand fast in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free. We thank God for Christ yes. setting us free, Amen. giving us that what we need. Is that right? Him dying and Him shedding blood for us. Stand fast in the liberty. Wherein Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. According to the 15th chapter of Acts. Then he said, be not again. Don't be again entangled with the yoke of bondage. We was in bondage one time. Yeah. We have been set free by Christ. Yeah. You know, we was in bondage to sin. We served sin, didn't we? Yeah. And enjoyed serving sin. Yeah. But because... Christ has set us free. We thank God. He says, don't be again entangled with the yoke of bondage. What Acts 15, 10 says. Amen. Now therefore, now therefore, why tempt ye God? Why tempt God to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples? Why tempt God to put a yoke on the neck? When you got a yoke, you can't do what you want to do. Amen. But Jesus said to us, my yoke is easy. That's right. My burden is light. Amen. What fifteen ten says? Now therefore, why tempt ye God? Uh huh. To put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples. Yes. Which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. Able to bear. Is that all right? Amen. Read get First Corinthians sixteen thirteen. He said in fifth chapter of Galatians, stand fast, therefore. In the liberty where it's Christ has made us free. Yeah. Be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. All right, what it says. First Corinthians 16, 13. Watch ye. Uh -huh. Stand fast in the faith. Stand fast in the faith. Quit, quit you like men. Quiet you like men. Quiet you like men. Uh-huh. Be strong. Be what? Be strong. Be strong. Be strong in the Lord. Be strong in his might. Be strong in the power of his might. Amen. Be strong. Once we say that the weak say I'm strong. Amen. So we have to continue to be strong. Is that right? Amen. Continue Rick, with, with the fifth chapter, verse one again, Corrigate, second chapter of uh, Galatians, verse four. What he said again, stand fast. Stand fast, therefore, in the, in the liberty. In the liberty. Wherewith Christ hath made us free. Christ is the one that made us free. And be not again, be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Don't get again entangled with the yoke of bondage. Amen. Use in bondage. Amen. Sin had us in bondage. Had us in captivity, didn't it? Yeah, yeah you was in sin and in bondage. You weren't free. But thank God for Christ coming along, making us free. Be not again entangled with the yoke of bondage. What Galatians 6, 2 and 4, Samuel. Galatians 2 and 4. And that because of false brethren, uh -huh. unawares brought in, uh -huh. who came in privately to spy our liberty, yes. which we have in Christ Jesus. See, we have a, we have a freedom, we have a liberty Amen. in Christ Jesus. 
He has made us free from. Then you can plead first of all. Let's just plead first of all. Amen. He said, Beware, and because of false brethren, unaware yes. brethren, uh -huh. yes. who came in privately to spout our liberty, uh -huh. which we have in Christ Jesus, yes. that they might bring us into bondage. That they spout the liberty that they may bring you into bondage. People are looking and want to bring you into bondage. Amen. When you're in bondage, you're not free. Is that right? Amen. But Christ has set us free. Regardless of what people say, think, or do, Amen. we're free. That's right. By Christ. <laughs> Let's continue. Behold, uh -huh. behold, I am Paul saying unto you, what? That if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. Be circumcised, Christ shall profit nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, I testify against that every man that is circumcised, uh -huh. that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Well, see, back in the days of the law, they had to be circumcised. <laughs> and then if you're going to be circumcised, are you going to do what the law say? You got to do all what the law say. Mm -hmm. Amen. You, you can't do part of it. That's why people can't now say, well, I'm doing what the Old Testament say. I'm doing what the law say. Because there are things in the law, if you're going to do it, you got to do the whole law. Amen. Is that right? Yes. Amen. See, we thank God for grace because the Lord Jesus has came and brought grace. In certain things you did in the law, you would get stoned. Amen. Is that right? You would get stoned. But we thank God for grace, right? Amen. All right, continue. Christ is Christ has become of none effect unto you. Yes. Whosoever of you is, are justified by the law. If you if you feel to be justified by the law, see, well, I'm going to do what the Old Testament say do. I'm going to do what the law say. You're not justified by the law. Christ has become of none Christ has come to none effect on you because we're living this life now by what? Faith. Faith, Faith in Christ Jesus. Faith in doing what the Lord say do. All right? Christ has become of none effect unto you. Uh -huh. Whosoever of you are justified by the law. Read. You are fallen from grace. Yes. For we through the Spirit. Listen to this. We through the Spirit. Wait for the hope of righteousness by faith. It's all by faith. It's all by faith. Corey, get uh, Romans 8, 23 to 25. But he said, for we through the Spirit. That's why everybody needs the Spirit. Yes, you need the Spirit. It's, it's by faith now. Mm -hmm. It's not by the law. It's not by the works of the mm -hmm. law. But it's by faith. We got to do this by faith. Mm -hmm. And our faith got to be in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right, what he says. Romans 8, 23 to 25. And not only they, but ourselves also. What? Which have the first fruits of the Spirit. Uh-huh. Even we ourselves grown within ourselves. We grow within ourselves. Waiting for the adoption. Waiting for the adoption. To wit, the redemption of our body. The, the redemption of our bodies. We, we, try, we try to save ourselves. Amen. You know, that's why we strive to live holy. We want to save ourselves. Yes. And it's all by faith. That's what we try to save. You try to save yourself. Yes. Read. For we are saved by hope. We are saved by hope. But hope we hope. Amen. Hope we can be saved. Yes. Ain't hey, that right? Yes. It's like a person looking for a job. I hope I get me a job. Yes. So you do what you need to do yes. in living in hope. Living this way by faith. Yes. What he said. For we are saved by hope. We are saved by hope. But hope that is seen is not hope. All right. That's what we're talking about. Faith. Yes. Hope that is seen. Is not hope. Yes, what you got to Jesus. what you got to hope for something if you see it. Amen. Mm -hmm. But see, this is a way that's by faith. Mm -hmm. Our whole life structure is by faith. Yes. The things we do is by faith. We pray, we hope, we live the life that is pleasing in the sight of God by faith. Amen. Ain't nothing to see, but it's by faith. Abraham went out by faith. So we have to do the same thing by faith. What did he say again? Amen. For we are saved by hope. Uh huh. But hope that is seen is not hope. Hope that is seen is not hope. Read. For what a man seeth, what a man see, why does he yet hope for? Amen. Now you know you see certain things. Mm -hmm. Or no, what are you hoping for? You see it. Amen. All you do is just get it. Amen. But see, we haven't seen the kingdom. We haven't seen that, but we're hoping. Amen. We are hoping each day. That we can live a life 
that when the Lord get ready to come our call, that we'll be able to make it in the kingdom. Yes. As he said, I go to prepare a place for you Amen. that where I am, ye shall be also. We're living in hope. We're hoping for that. That's why we're striving to do what's right. Having the right spirit, doing the right thing because we're living in hope. What he says? Amen. He said, for we are saved by hope. But the hope which is not the hope, seen is hope, not hope. Hope which is seen is not hope. For what a man seeth, why does he yet hope for? But you got the hope of something you see. You, you know, it's already there. Amen. Is that right? That's right. But now, eternal life, we are hoping for that. Amen. We are hoping there for that. That's why God wants every man and woman, boy, God, repent of their sin, be baptized in water in the name of Jesus Christ, live yeah. holy. Yeah. Is that right? Yes. And then, you, by faith, yeah. you hope. You hope that you can be saved through our Lord Jesus Christ. Is that right? Amen. Yeah. Read it. What verse you have? Verse 25. What it says. But if we hope for that which we see not. If we hope, listen to this now. If we hope for that which we see not, then do we with patience do wait for it. Amen. See, we got to wait patiently, you know. Amen. Amen. We got to wait patiently for the coming of the Lord. Amen. Amen. See, we are hoping that we can be saved. Jesus. Jesus. I know I am. And I know I want to be saved. Yes. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. God's what goes on. I'm hoping that I can live the life that's pleasing to the Lord, that I can be saved where He can say, Well done. That's right. Thy good and faithful servant. Amen. That's what we're hoping for. Amen. Is that right? We are hoping. We are hoping. Hoping. Read it again. Amen. For if we but if we hope for that. We see not. Then do we with patience wait for it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Likewise, the Spirit also. What it does. Help with our infirmity. Thank God for the Spirit. Yeah. Amen. That's why everybody needs the Spirit of God. Amen. Yeah. Because the Spirit, what it does, it helps our infirmity. Yes. It helps the things that we have to deal with in this life. Amen. That's why everybody needs the Spirit. You can't make it without the Spirit. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the Spirit of God because there are infirmities. There are things that come up that it takes the spirit in us in order for us to go through. Amen. Amen. Some things you can't go through on your own. What verse you have? Amen. Verse 26. What it say? Likewise the spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Yes. For we know not what to, what we should pray for as yeah. we are. We thank God for the spirit. The spirit even help us to pray the right prayer. Amen. Amen. You got to wait on everybody. Listen, everybody needs the spirit. Yeah, you need the spirit of God. Yeah. Is that right? Man. It don't matter who you are, how much money you got, how much smart you are, or whatever you think you have. You need the spirit. Yeah. Man. Because it helps our infirmities. The infirmities are things that we deal with in life. That's why some people, they do things that is so contrary because they don't have the spirit. Man. You know, people. The, the way the world is now, people need the spirit of God in their life, but they feel as though I got a lot of money, I'm doing all right. No, you need a lot of the spirit of God. Amen. Amen. That's the thing that's going to help yeah. our infirmities, because every one of us as fleshly beings, there are things that we go through in life that we have to deal with, don't we? Amen. Amen. It's things, I don't care who you are, Amen. it's things that you deal with. And sometimes people go through certain things so bad Amen. until they feel that they want to kill themselves. Yes. Want to commit suicide. Want to jump off a building. Want to mm -hmm. do all kinds of things. Kill their family. Mm -hmm. It takes the spirit in a man. Mm -hmm. Woman, boy, or girl to do that which is right in the sight of God. Amen. We need his spirit. Yes. Everybody needs to seek God for his spirit. Yes. And if you don't have it, you need it. Amen. What else is that? What verse you have? Verse 26. Let's hear it. Amen. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. Uh -huh. But the Spirit itself may be intercession for us. Yes. With groanings which cannot be uttered. Amen. Thank God for the Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right, Rick, let's continue. Verse 6. Amen. When Jesus Christ neither circumcision of them of any yes. nor uncircumcision, uh -huh. but faith which worked by love. Amen. You did run well. You did run well. Who did hinder you that Ooh. you should not obey the truth? Who hindered you that you should not obey the truth? This persuades them coming out of him that calleth you. Uh -huh. A little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. Yes. I have confidence in you through the Lord. 
that you will be none other, otherwise minded. But he that troubleth you shall bear his judgment. Whosoever he be. Who ain't troubling you? That's amazing. Whoever trouble you. I mean, I don't remember why people trouble you. Because whoever trouble you, whoever going to try to give you some problem, he's going to have to deal with that. Amen. Mm -hmm. yeah, he, he shall bear his judgment. Bear his judgment. Bear his judgment. Whosoever he be. It don't matter who it is, read. And I, brother, if I yet preach circumcision, why do I yet suffer persecution? Uh -huh. Then is the offense of the cross ceased. Read it. I would they were even cut off which trouble you. I would that they were even cut off that trouble you. For brother, what? ye have been called unto liberty. Called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Don't use your liberty occasion to your flesh to do what you want to do in the flesh. But by love serve one another. But by what? But by love serve one another. Read it again. But by love serve one another. Thank you. That's what it takes. Thank you, brother. That's what it takes. Y'all can sit down. But by love, you what God say? But by love, serve who? One love is the answer. Love is the key. Love is the thing that we're going to have to do. Because Jesus said, he gave a commandment, a new commandment I give you, not at all, but that you love one another as I am loving you. So, and what is that? What is it? How? Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. That's what it takes. May God bless you and keep you. Let us stand. God unto him that is able to keep you from falling, present your bodies. For the presence of his glory, the exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior. Be glory, majesty, dominion, and power, both now and ever. Let us say together. Amen. Amen.